right, uh, today we're gonna go ahead, this will be part one of a series uh, we're gonna do on uh, changing out brakes, uh, shoes, and drums. Uh, went ahead and took all the uh, lug nuts off here. So I'm gonna get these pulled off. We'll get the air compressor shut off, so it's a little bit quieter out here. But uh, it's Sunday, uh, the parts house I use, they're closed today. Uh, so I wanna get everything taken apart so I can take the shoes in and take the drums in and uh, get those matched up and get this thing put back together early next week. So, but uh, I'll go ahead and take the wheel off. Shut this thing down. That's a little quieter. So yeah, these are, they've gotten pretty hot. <laughs> so take those gaskets off, save those. So the uh, only prep work we had to do, we uh, you want to chalk everything before you start. I chalked, I just throw a four by four under every wheel basically. Then uh, jack it up, or not, sorry, you want to chalk it first, release the brakes, and then jack it up. Because if you go ahead and jack it up, and then you release the brakes, it's going to move a little bit, and you could, that jack's going to be unstable. So that's why you want to go ahead and chalk everything, release the brakes, then jack it up. Um, Next thing we're going to need to do, we're going to have to back off the slack adjuster so we can uh, pull the drum off because there's a ridge there and uh, there won't be enough clearance to pull it off. So, so I'll grab a wrench and we'll do that. Then most likely we're going to have to beat this off here. So. All right, so we got a 7 16 wrench. Most of them are 7 16 on these slack adjusters. Some of them have the older style, the manual ones. They have a little tool, um, sometimes you can just use a screwdriver, you got to pop in there, then you use a three quarter wrench to back them off. But um, these ones, most of the new ones use a 7 16. So I'll get underneath there, we're going to back it off all the way to pull the, uh, the, the brake shoes in, then I can beat the drum off. So. Now, you're gonna, there's a, a bolt right here, or a head, and that's what you're going to want to pull on. Um, you're going to want to go counterclockwise. It's going to be hard, and it's going to make a bunch of noise like that. And that's how you know you're backing it off. And as you can see here, the uh, pad and the drum surface, you can see where you got a big gap there where it's backed off. And I'm going to go a couple more turns just to give us plenty of clearance so that way we can get across that ridge.
Okay, that should be plenty. Then you need a big hammer. So just give it a couple good knocks with a big hammer and pull it right off. And these are heavy. See this thing coming over the mountains that I go over. This thing's gotten hot. You got a pretty good ridge there. So for what they cost. It ain't worth a violation, I'll just replace all four of them. So while you're in here, um, I always like check your wheel seals, see if you got any leaks. Um, Cause if you go, if you're doing, if you get it like at Landstar, if you get an inspection, your annual inspection at TA or Petra or something, and uh, they see wheel seal leaking, uh, Landstar is pretty anal about, uh, if you do an, if you fail an inspection, they're gonna make you fix it before you leave. And th these places they'll hold you hostage, like your uh, TA and Petros and all of them. I mean, you could. Uh, I had one out in California, ended up costing me five hundred dollars. When I could have did it here at the house for a hundred bucks, so it was pretty frustrating. But uh, so these are the shoes. You see, the bottom one here is at the wear mark, so it's. Um, I was kind of in a hurry to get it home and get it fixed or get them changed out because this one's possibly fail just to where it's at and there's been some some separation on them but uh these springs we got springs here and a big spring over here and uh the new kits they usually come with hardware or i always put new hardware on them so i got a torch here um this is the easiest way to do it i just cut them just cut the spring then they'll we'll collapse them off take them off and we're pretty well that's it that's it as far as disassembly um, you can use a grinder if you can get in there, or you can take a, um, sometimes you can take a pry bar, get in there and actually get on the, it's like a, you know, it's a question mark basically, a hook. You can get a pry bar and you can take off the bottom part of the spring. So that's right here. It's right here. So this is the one right here that we're going to cut, or you can get in the back side or the bottom side and you can take a pry bar and uh do it off the, take it off that way but um i have a torch or a grinder i just usually cut them off so go ahead and get that And it's as simple as that. You just want to be careful don't put a bunch of heat on that seal. So just get in there and do what you got to do quick if you're using a torch. Or, um, or if, I'll show you how you can take it off with a pry bar. Just now that we got them opened up. There, and there's the brakes. <laughs> 
A lot of grease in there. But here's what we just cut in half. Basically like that. And those this hook in down here. So like I said, you can get in there with a pry bar and pry it out, but it's just kind of difficult. So that's why I just, it's a lot quicker. You can see how quick it came apart like that. Um, these, these rollers, you'll get new rollers in the kit and all three springs. And uh, there'll, there'll be a core charge on these. So um, you'll want to save them. Don't throw them in the scrap pile or anything like that because you got to turn them back in. Save the boxes from the new ones. Put these old ones back in the boxes. Take them back because you use like a $20 core charge depending on where you get them out or whatever. But um, that's pretty much it. I'll show you the wheel seal here. Um, this one doesn't look to be leaking. Yeah, it's a little moist. So I, I may just go ahead and replace these while I got it apart. Right there. I mean, it's not running. But uh, there is a little moisture. Most of this just break dust and dirt. But, um, as far as disassembly for part one here, that's uh, pretty much it. I don't know. I think it took us longer to take the wheel off than it did to take everything else apart. So, um... Uh, I'm going to get the parts tomorrow here on Monday, and uh, we'll get back to you with the uh, putting them uh, part two with the uh, reassembly. So stay tuned for that. If you like the videos, uh, like us and uh, subscribe, and uh, see you all next time. Thanks for watching.